So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to translate statements into mathematical expressions. Now in learning algebra, it is very important that you know how to change a statement into mathematical expressions or symbols. Now I'll explain that to you through some examples. There is, actually there is no, like, a finite list of rules that I can provide you but it's more on like you become familiar on how to translate statements as you see examples like in in different textbooks or resources so the key here is you just have to be familiar with them and then once you you know how to simplify some statements and that will give you an idea on how to simplify new statements. So for example, so let's say example one. If I want to translate, say add 3c to the product of a and b. So some statements can be very straightforward. So it says we need to add 3c to the product of a and b. So that means we have a and b. So a times b, the product of a and b, is written as ab. So in algebra, when, when you multiply two values, in this case a and b, we call them variables in algebra. If we put them next to each other without addition or subtraction sign, then that means we are multiplying the two values. So A times B can be written as AB. So it means A times B. Okay, so going back, so we need to add 3C to the product of A and B. So from AB, we are going to add. So add means plus sign and we are going to add 3c so that's adding 3c to the product of a and b right, right? so it, it's kind of straightforward just look for the, the words that will be translated into mathematical symbols addition to plus product to multiplication okay let's look at another example let's say the example 2 the statement is subtract say we need, we want to subtract 4 from the square say of a letter d okay so how do we translate so we want to subtract 4, so there's a, a subtraction or minus sign for 4, and then we are subtracting it from, okay, so keyword or important word is from the square of D, okay? So from the square of D, so this is how we translate, from the square of D, we have to subtract 4, okay? So do not translate statements without understanding it fully some people would would like translate this in the form of 4 minus d square now this is wrong because it says subtract 4 from so we start with d squared and we subtract 4 from it so it said, so we have d squared minus 4 okay now other confusion would be when we say square, it's not the same as the square root. Square root is the one with the square root sign. So the square root of D is written this way. But this is not the square of D. The square of D is D squared. Okay, so you just have to be careful with, with subtracting from or squaring as opposed to the square root. Okay? 
Now let's look at another example. Example 3. Suppose I want to multiply multiply m by 4n. So we have the word multiply. So we expect a multiplication sign. And what we want to multiply is m and 4n. So initially, we understand this as m times 4n, but we said multiplication can just be as simple as m times 4n, or we can even make this 4mn. Okay? So on the last expression, so I already, already arranged 4 and then the m and the n in writing mathematical expression we as by convention we we follow the alphabetical order so if m in the alphabet comes before n and we see m and n in an expression they have to be arranged following the alphabet okay so this is the rearranged version of m times 4n so also notice how I remove the parenthesis. Parenthesis also means multiplication. Okay, unless there's a plus or minus sign before it. Okay, so m times 4n is 4mn. Okay, one more example. So let's say I have so example 4. Let's say I want to divide 3a by 2xy so translating this it means 3a initially it's 3a divided by 2xy but in algebra we write division using the symbol the bar symbol so it's 3a over okay we use well, you use the word over and then 2xy. So that's the meaning of division. That's how we write it. So we don't or we no longer write it this way, but it has to be written this way. Okay? Then one, one more example. So example 5. Suppose we want to translate thrice. The variable P and then say divided by the product of six and say the letter Q. Okay, so again we under we should try to understand it first so thrice means we multiply three times okay so thrice the variable p so that means three times p will be divided by the product so this is the product of six and q so three or thrice the p three times p will be divided by the product of six and Q. And again, multiplication can be written as 3 and P, okay, so next to each other. Divi divided by means or division is over 6 times Q. You can write 6 times Q as 6Q. So this should be the translated statement or the, the mathematical ex expression for the statement tries the variable P divided by the product of 6 and Q. So when you uh, understand the statement, you need to look at like how the, the values are grouped, like the product of 6 and Q, so that's 6Q, and trice of variable of P, so that's 3P. And then the main operation is division. Okay? 
So, again, those are just some examples. You become... Um, this will become easier as you see more examples of translated statements. So, here we were able to see how to translate addition, uh, add we, we, the product, we, we subtracted, we used some squares, we multiplied, we divided some values, and we even have the, the word thrice. So, maybe in some problems you will see the word twice. So that means just two times, okay? And then some groupings in, like for the example 5, we, we need to look at uh, values as a group, okay? Like trice of variable P means 3P, product of 6 and Q means 6Q, but we want to divide the two, okay? So I'll be making another video on more examples, but for now, so I hope you you have the idea on how to translate the statements at like uh, at least the basic idea of it okay so that's it